What's good everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm going to bring you guys the best offensive playbook in madden 25 right now if you didn't already know it's going to be the detroit lions i'm going to show you how to attack every single coverage how to throw one play touchdowns and honestly i don't believe there's such thing as a best offensive playbook but this is a lot of fun to use it has a lot of good plays a lot of fun formations i'm also going to hop into a game of reg so you can see how this playbook plays in real time and if you think there are any other playbooks i should check out comment down below and i'll see what they got but right now i just want to talk about this trips tight end flex this formation has been taken Taking Madden for an absolute storm lately. It has halfback angle, it has level sales, which are also very great plays. But this one play, motion wide post, can attack any coverage. If you do suspect your opponent is in a cover too, I like to block the running back for a little extra help, set up the pass protection, and then let the motion guy do his thing, and he's gonna run past the flat for an easy one play touchdown. If you suspect your opponent is in a cover three, what you could do is you could put this guy on a post and then let it develop. That tight end is going to be wide open for big games. If you think your opponent is running cover four, you can run this play stock. Just look for the underneath route right here. And then what you could also do against cover four if you don't want to do the motion is you could put that B receiver on an out route. That'll pull the defender just to open up that underneath a little easier. And if your opponent is trying to man blitz you, all you got to do is I'm going to block the running back. Typically you want to set up your pass protection, but boom that inverted zig is gonna cook every time. What you could also do is something like this, where you could block your running back, um, put your B receiver on a drag, and then that's gonna open up yet again. You could also put B on a post. I'm gonna route stem it down just so he gets a quick cut. And then that's gonna cook. Really, I mean, man beaters are super easy. Drags, posts, slants, zigs. And then we have a couple empty sets. Um, empty bunch open has some decent plays. I don't love them. I also really like these two formations. Empty halfback wide. I think we got some good plays coming out of here. And then bunch quads is super fun. Um, like this motion wide receiver swing is a great way to get some yards, especially if your opponent is playing like conservative defense. Motion verticals is solid. Bunch trail and then spot, of course. It's just a refreshing way to play the game. And if you do like to run press sets as well you got gun tight bunch y flex bunch x nasty this motion rpo zone alert is really good in the red zone and it has a couple other really good cheap motion plays as well but let's hop into an online game so i can show you this playbook in real time this is actually perfect we're going against the falcons who have one of the best if not the best secondary in the game jesse bates justin simmons aj terrell like they're pretty loaded that's me thank god bro my opponent just took two years bringing the ball up the field straight running it with Bijan. Bro literally killed the whole first quarter and some. I also forgot to mention this motion cross post. This is also a phenomenal play coming out of Gun Bunch X Nasty. It looks like he's blitzing so I should have an easy pass to JMO. Throw it outside. Yes sir. Another good play is this motion fork H choice. I really like the corner route that the um tight end takes. I will take the flat if I have to. Yep. That's another good thing about this. Um, these formations is a lot of them have great plays coming out the flat. Let me see if I can cook up with this wide receiver in motion I was showing y'all. Get a block. Yes, sir. Good stick. Like I said, gets you an easy 10 yards for the most part. I'm going to put it on the ground right here. Yes, sir. I'm going to run this spot play from the empty set. Um, what I like to do is I'll streak RB so I can throw the flat. Yeah, I'll throw the flat. X was actually open for a touchdown, so I'm gonna hurry that up. Eyeball. Wow. That was a red pass, so it's on me, but. Eyeball. Touchdown. Let's go. Cover two again. Yeah, man, you just can't be, you can't sit in the cover two. It's not great defense. You gotta at least make adjustments. Knockout. Wow, way to get your uh, three points, man. That was nice. I know my opponent isn't a great passer, at least not very confident, so I should have played a little better defense than just prevent, but I mean, he might still miss this. Okay, 7-3, my ball at half. We're cooling. This look tells me he's blitzing, so I'm gonna put St. Brown on a drag just so I can get like a quick route out of him. And yeah, that's uh, that motion's key, bro. That motion puts in pain. Especially during the blitz with no adjustments, like you gotta adjust. And it actually said he was running cover four right there, but um, I don't know. Yeah. Whoa! Way too many drop picks in this game, for sure. I mean, that's a linebacker, so I won't cry about it, but you still want to see that come down. 
with the defense. Good stuff. Oh, why did I try to hit stick? That's on me. And he wants to celebrate? Okay, bet, bet, bet. This run play outside zone is actually really good. Also coming out of the um, trips tight end flex formation. This guy is actually insane. I think he's running cover two yet again. If he is, um, I mean, we have this Laporta on the, sh uh, yeah. Okay, underthrow by, yeah, that was an underthrow by Jeff. So that's kind of, I mean, that's Jesse Bates and underthrown ball. So it should have been a touchdown, but Jeff Goff just doesn't have the arm power, I guess. Yes, sir. So with just a little bit of time, I'm going back to the trips tight end formation and I'm going to use this run play I was showing you. Good stop. Cover two. See, he's still in cover two, so we got to punish it. I really don't want to throw another interception to Jesse Bates, so I'm going to run this on the right side this time. Throw it out, throw it out. High ball. And I failed. Good tackle. Let's go. Opponent is actually going to settle for a field goal right here, which is like, I get it, but I'm going to get three. You're not going to stop me. Yes, sir. I'm going to take the flats every time if he lets me. Yeah. Just hit the flats. Get out of bounds. He continues to give up the flats. Our offense honestly has the opponent so shook. He just does not want to guard the flats. So we're just going to march down the field and kick an easy three. Set up just like this. What a catch. GG, bro. <laughs> Go ahead and hop on conservative. Oh, I thought I had a timeout. That offense by me. I thought I had a timeout. Honestly, don't know what I did with it. JMO. JMO. P.I. I'll take it. Yes, sir. Good high ball. Get him out of here. Honestly, a great game. Kudos to the opponent. I shouldn't have let it get to this point, but I mean, under throws by Jared Goff. I really can't control that. So, you know, like I said, they got a great secondary. This is a great um team to showcase this type of offense. Chill, chill. Should have been me. Game. He caught that? Game. GG's, bro. GG, bro. Yeah, he took his heart out. Kudos to the opponent. So that's going to be the Detroit offensive playbook for y'all. Also got a defensive playbook video on the way for you guys, so stay in tune. Drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to show support. Comment down below any offensive playbooks that you think are really good so I can check them out. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you guys for watching, as always, and I'm out.